a, a well-rounded offense. So the bottom line is I think teams have copied our system. It's going to be more difficult. With TV, kids now locally are going to play all over. There's TV. There's a lot of money being handed out. There's obviously no more money being handed out in Miami. So it's, uh, so, but, but I think that time, to me, that time was more of a down period. For, it was a shorter time, but it just seemed like hope was given up. Okay. Thankfully, Butch uh, turned it around and, and was able to get the, the right people. And I do believe once we set the sails right here, it, it's going to happen. Well, to me, that's an encouraging answer from my point of view, because I was, you know, I was kind of expecting you to say the opposite. That, you know, like, oh, it just felt like a few years we were temporarily down and that it'd come back and, you know, and, and that now it's been a decade of sustained mediocrity and, you know, but hearing that, that, that it felt like the sky was falling more back then, and then we still came back and had arguably, well, probably our best team ever after that period, that gives me some hope. That's good. Yeah, I mean, I mean, so 97, I think we won like five games. And we had talent, too. So that was the problem. I mean, they were starting to get better players, but nobody knew it at the time. So it's, uh, you know, it just when, when you go from winning championships or playing, like I said, from 83 to 92, pretty much we're playing for the national championship or in that in opportunity every year. And then all of a sudden it just falls apart a few years later. That's pretty scary. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, like I said, it was a shorter time period. This period's taken a little bit longer, but there were, you know, hey, we just had seven games. The first seven years in, in the business for me, we lost to Florida State. I was starting to think it was me. Uh, <laughs> and then, and then the, the year that Langa made the catch that we broke the streak, I remember watching it. I, I was just uh, in tears when he made that catch. And it was like phenomenal. And, you know, and now we beat Florida State three years in a row. I mean, it's funny that people would, people would say, oh, you know, all we got to do is beat Florida State and I can lose every game. Well, that's obviously not the fact because people are still upset about it. But we have beat Florida State three years in a row. Yeah. yeah. Well, sure. we want to transition now to, to kind of talking about this event that we got coming up. So we, we briefly awesome. introduced it um, earlier on the pod before we called it in. Um, I was just explaining to people how it's going to be like a, a live video chat broadcast. So me and Marsh and, and Brad Tejeda, who's on here with us, um, you know, we're just going to be in like a Google Hangouts or a Zoom type thing where you can see our faces and we're interacting we're going to patch some fans in um we're going to hopefully have you on there as well at times and and uh you know just kind of uh, uh, hang out the best we can in terms of having quarantine you know um but, but from what i understand you got some uh, some giveaways and, and some stuff that you want to talk about with uh, our partnership absolutely so we love to you know we're going we're gonna to have a, a sp- we're going to do some some giveaways. Uh, we'd like to. Uh, are people going to be able to call in or be able to say something? We're going to be able to give some things away that that uh, that that come on the show, or, or is that something that's possible or now? Um. So I, we haven't worked out all the technical kinks. I think what we're going to do is we're going to be communicating with people on Twitter, and then uh, then we'll send them the link to this thing, and then they can patch themselves in uh, on the video feed. So we can't have people call in. Um, you know, I'll probably be directing everything from Twitter. Uh, and if someone wins a prize or something like that, I can put them up on the screen and they can talk with us and, and that type of thing. Does that answer your question? Yes, that answers my question. So, no, that's awesome. So we'll do some giveaways. We can do it since Twitter's a, a, a big, uh, the big social media for all of us here. Uh, you know, we can do some contests on that as they're, they're listening. If they're listening, we know they're listening. Besides the fact they're watching our Twitter, we'll be able to say, OK, so we'll announce it on the show and they'll, and they'll be able to come up with an answer and some giveaways like that from gift cards. We'll be giving out some gift cards. Uh, we've got a bunch of Super Bowl programs. It's a really cool. The 2020 Super Bowl program. Uh, that was an awesome an awesome item. Uh, so a lot of things we'll be doing. So some gift cards, some other giveaways. Uh, we've got a great shirt that uh, Brad actually designed a little while ago. We're going to be doing some promotions with that as well. Uh, the new Miami shirt. So it's gonna be a lot of fun things that we're gonna do. It'll be worth your worth your while to listen in to the for, to the show for that event because we're gonna be giving out lots of things, some de- special codes for uh, discounts and other things as well. For sure, heck yeah. And also any any uh, cane player that gets drafted during the draft, um, if you're that lucky contestant on live with us when your actual NFL team drafts that cane player, I think you'll get a special gift from Brett as well. Yeah, that'll be that'll be something we're working on. You know, uh, we, we do with our Facebook and our, our Twitter 
Uh, I usually do a, a dolphin contest, since I'm a huge dolphin fan, and we are, we're a dolphin store also. Uh, but uh, we'll be doing things like that, too. If you can, you know, a little contest, guessing the dolphin draft picks, maybe guessing all, the, you know, certain picks. So we'll put something together that, too. So it'll be fun. Uh, it, it'll be something that people can, you know, follow along on our show that uh, it'll be different than other shows you're listening to because you can watch the draft, watch uh, – uh, you, you can watch Roger Goodell in his basement, I think he's going to be. They said today <laughs> and uh, and watch that. Listen to us and go ahead and, and win prizes, which uh, really how many places are going to give you that opportunity? Yeah, for real. Man, that's so, uh, so guys, I'm seeing this just now. I hadn't seen this once. I don't know what the date of this is, uh, but just came across my screen. What date is this? Is this recent or is this an old one? This was today that somebody is saying that Miami Dolphins are going to trade. Did you see that one today? No, I haven't. Did, one of the mocks today, the Dolphins are going to trade. Uh, for uh, the Dolphins are going to trade uh, their one. Uh, it says here, let's see, one in 17. Let's see, the first rounder. Uh, they're going to they're going to acquire Dak Prescott. I don't know how much I want that as a Dolphin fan. I know we got some Cowboys. Ooh, fans what? Yes. Group. So yes, the, the, I like that. Cowboys would get the Cowboys would get the fifth pick and the 82nd pick. Okay. The Dolphins would get the 17th pick of the Cowboys. So wait, uh, then you just uh, wait, then you just you just said the first pick that we would get we would get their fifth pick, right? Well, no, the first pick was the fifth pick in the draft. Okay. So okay. Do- okay. According to this, I mean, and these are all mock, but it's the first time I've ever seen this. It says the oh, Dolphins oh, have oh. the fifth. The Dolphins have the fifth pick in the draft. So the, the Dolphins would give up the fifth pick, okay, and the 82nd pick, which is the third round. All right, for the cow and the Cowboys would give up Dak and their first round pick, the 17th pick. What do I you guys think about have a live, I would love to have a live chat right now because I'm pretty sure Marsh just had a heart attack. <laughs> what? So, <laughs> well, here's, so here's, this if Tua is available. Because the Dolphins are in love with Tua, and it sounds like the Cowboys want Tua. It, here's oh. the thing on this is if you're going to oh, pay boy. quarterback like that elite kind of money, he needs to be like the absolute best of the best, or you're not going to win. I mean, we've kind of seen that. Like, after Russell Wilson got his money, the Seahawks have fallen off. You know, after Jared Goff got his money, the Rams are having a hard time now. Um, I don't think Dak is worth that money. Nope. And, and I'm, like, a, I'm a diehard Cowboys fan. Dak is not worth the money that we are about to give him. I would, especially with Bill O'Brien right now, I would try to get the better for it in the NFL and go after that, uh, that boy, uh, Deshaun Watson. Yeah, I mean, I would love Deshaun Watson. Is he available? Because if he's available, that's who the Dolphins should try to get. But I'm not a big Dak <laughs> fan. I mean, is he, what is he partying every day with a group of people right now? Even though he's he doesn't care about the uh, the, the social distancing, he's kind of doing his own thing. So uh, this is just hmm. something I just saw, and uh, I think that uh, I think the Cowboys would be crazy though. The only thing is, two is not really ready to quarterback this year. They say. Yeah, I don't know. Oh boy. Oh gosh. All I know is. Like I, I'm kind of. I read an article a few uh, months ago, maybe a year and a half ago. That's that kind of said that a, a new model that GMs might start looking towards is, is spending a lot of money on defense and position players, or like skill position players, and then just drafting quarterbacks and developing them. And then when it comes time for their payday, they trade them for a high draft pick and take a new one. And I'd honestly be more partial to that kind of building model. Just because it's so hard to put a, a Super Bowl caliber roster around a guy that makes thirty million a year. I t- I, t- I totally agree because the uh, uh, you know I think you know if you build a great offensive line, a great defensive line. I know it's so easy to be said. Uh, uh, I, I, I forget. Uh, I don't know. It was Omar uh, was saying for the uh, uh, for the Sun Sentinel or every work the Herald. Uh, the, uh, but um, Sun Sentinel, he was saying, you know, if you build an offensive line with every guy that's a great offensive lineman and you put two in, you don't let anybody touch him. And I'm thinking, wow, I mean, Josh Rosen would be a great quarterback if they did that. I mean, if you did that. <laughs> I mean, and the sad part is that's what they're doing for Dak Prescott because they probably have the Cowboys, the best offensive line in football. Yeah. Well, I mean, the, the year that they had the most success with Dak was his rookie season when they weren't paying him anything. And they could afford to pay the best offensive line in football. And they, you know, they had uh, Des Bryant and, you know, all these weapons around him. Um, and it's changed since. So. No, I, yeah, no, exactly. And, but, but I do agree. You have a great defense. I mean, I, I, 
it's, you know, granted, Tom Brady, there's nobody, uh, what is it, Tom Brady's won multiple championships, Ben Roethlisberger's won uh, multiple, and uh, Eli Manning. But no other quarterback has won more than one. So yeah. I don't care how great the quarterback is, it's pretty difficult to win that Super Bowl with, 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 with even having the top quarterbacks. Drew Brees has won one for as good as he is. And, and how many other guys have won, a, have won a Super Bowl? Not that many right now. Yeah. Obviously, uh, Matt point. Ryan had an opportunity if they didn't squander that lead against the, uh, uh, against the Patriots, yeah. which killed us if you're not a Patriot fan. <laughs> Uh, so uh, yeah, but so it's awfully tough. I love this kid. Uh, I love this kid Isaiah Simmons from uh, from Clemson. I'd love for the Dolphins to get him. He can play every position, but I don't think they're going to draft a defensive guy that high. Yeah. And we'll see. Would you uh, would you be happy if they took like Simmons at five and then uh, like say they get Jordan Love at the the back of the first round with one of their picks? Would you be happy with that? Yeah, I can take that. I mean, I really, I really want, uh, I, I want offensive line. I know it's a boring position, but we need them. But I would, I'm, I don't know how high I am in Jordan Love. I do think when it's all said and done, when it's done, the Dolphins will take. They're either going to trade down or take Herbert. I, I do think he's the guy they're going to take. Uh, I, I think I'll take him over to him. It's just my my thought process. But yeah, I'd be okay. I mean, I'm confident. I really feel good about Flores. I mean, what he did last year was phenomenal. So I'm really excited about the uh, the future of the Dolphins, more so than I've been in a long time. Okay. Well, thanks for coming on, Brad. We really appreciate you, man, and and we're excited to partner with you and and you know your stuff. I've you know bought stuff from your online store over the years. I like I'm excited about this, and and hopefully it's uh, you know the start of a long relationship. So. I'm very excited about it as well. I'm excited about that big draft party. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of giveaways and things like that. And I think you guys are doing a phenomenal job. And I, and I appreciate you guys having me on. Thank you so much. Yeah, thanks, Brett. Yes. All right, guys. Anytime. We'll soon. All right. Thanks so much. We'll talk to you soon. Okay. Talk to you later. Thanks. All right, Brett. Talk to you right. soon. Stay safe. All right. Dude, I'm, I'm for this draft thing now. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited. I'm just excited yeah. just to do nothing but watch the draft for three straight days. And be on video camera for three days. I'm kind of out of it. Yeah. Yeah, I can't do any. I can't. Like, I have to be normal when yeah. I'm on video. People are going to be sure. by how much Mountain Dew I drink, man. Like, <laughs> I know we joke about it, but after they see me crush, like, the sick can during the first round of the draft, they're going to be like, what's wrong with this guy? <laughs> I'm, I'm pr- dude, we need to take a poll on an over or under of how much snacks me and Marsh are going to have at this event. Yeah, I'm going to look so damn fat. Dude, I can already tell you for that first round, I'm going to order my go-to, which is a pepperoni and jalapeno pizza from Papa Ew. John's. Ew. Dude, it's uh, good. It's good, man. Good then, God. I, I'm going <laughs> to... <laughs> All right, thanks for making me feel self-conscious, Mark. <laughs> well, so I a pizza. That doesn't even make sense. Oh, it's good, dude. No, dude, when, so I spent the summer in England last year. And Papa John's was like the cheapest place to eat because everything in England is super expensive. And that was uh, their special. They called it the Spicy American. And it was uh, I grew fond of it, man. It was good stuff. Huh. So my go-to now, but... Yeah, I'm gonna crush some pizza and probably a, a full sleeve of mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that was just so funny. A whole sleeve. Yeah. You old widow maker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I gotta start stocking up on all my crap because I'm not. Oh, dude. I, I, I'm. It's gonna be hard to shower, but. Gummy worms, gummy bears on deck. Uh, dude, this, yeah, yeah. Like you can take the webcam into the shower with you, and we can tie this to your OnlyFans account. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, maybe that, maybe that girl from Twitter Tay will be watching. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! <laughs> hey, you can have her on, and you guys could, uh, you know, just have like we a can meet. What's what's that called? You could have an intervention. Just be like, hey, if we're going to date, you can't, you can't be racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll just tell her, hey, it's okay. Like, we're, we're, we're good. <laughs> Dude, one of these days, people are just going to get tired of me and just start blocking me on Twitter. 
Same. I'm, I'm, I, people are already blocking me. I welcome it. 